best week. All these fucking cars were not on the road, man. These freaking people, they keep on traveling here to Florida. And they stay out later and later and later. And all these fucking cars, no one was on this road at this time. There were not as many cars on this road at this time. And now there's many cars on this road at this time. And I'm not going to be able to pass them all. And these people on the right are going to want to go left because they're stupid. And they're not from around here. And they don't know where they're going. And I hate that they'll have to keep slowing down and speeding up my freaking truck. Because it just goes faster when I give it gas. Okay, what the sop man? Sop man does not have license plates, so we can run him off the road. Look at this fucking shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, last minute, you fucktard. That's someone from our damn dealer. That's, well, that's a car dealer, rather. He doesn't even have a dealer plate. I could have wrecked that thing, and I'd say, Hell yeah, prove your plate! Change my voice. And they're all old people, and they don't know how to see, and they drive, so they go really, really slow on this freaking road. They don't have 900, I don't know, what do I have, 9012, 9011 bulbs to like HID bright, but they're not HID. What the damn fucking people, man. I'm tired of this shit. They just hate this, you just gotta go on and off, get a little bit of gas, then you gotta coast. And it wears the fuck out of the torque converter clutch on the torque converter, so you go on and off, goes in and out of overdrive. In, I mean, not overdrive, lock torque converter, lock up, goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's freaking annoying. Freaking annoying. Ah. And probably upcoming video, I probably won't do it tonight. I believe I will get it by tonight. New fuel sender, I found one NOS GM for this thing because this fuel gauge is as fucked on this thing, really. It's all over the damn place, it's pissing me off. So, the bed gotta come off. Well, bump. Now we got a trailer hitch. Trailer hitch. Then we got to take the bumper off, take the wheels off, and uh, we can unbolt the bed and slide it back a little bit. Last time I did it, I was parked in a really bad spot in my old house. It was snowing and everything. It was like 10 degrees outside, and I um, just blocked up the bed. It was a pain in the ass. And I uh, changed the fuel pump, and it died many, many years ago. Pulled the truck. But yeah. That we got a GM one, I can't believe it. Paid uh, 90 bucks for it, and then believe it or not, I think we're gonna buy another one because I can get it for uh, about half that. I found another one, GM USA fuel sender, just not gonna find shit like that anywhere else. So, probably get that one too. Ford and parts, and the cops are back there. They got some weird wigwag things on one car, and they got this Ford Mustang they always use to bait people. It's an old one. It's like 2005, 2006, that body style. The first year of the, uh, the retro style. And they have a, also a uh, Dodge Charger. Yep, they get a lot of people like a Charger. is like a dark green gray color. The Mustang is red. Didn't get me! <laughs> and again, with all these freaking people out late at night. You see, this was not like this last week. Even his freaking school buses are out at 7 o'clock. What is wrong with this picture? Never get it, man. This happens a lot. When people see the flashing lights on the school bus in the other lane, they all jam on the brakes. Because they don't know what the fuck to do. And the school bus in Florida, if you can see that, they have a little strobe light. Because the bus drivers drive so poorly. And the uh, kids are stupid or something. I don't know. But... They have that, no other state will have that. I think it's the most stupidest idea ever. And so a driving distraction. People look at that little flashing light. It's not for safety at all. But that's my theory. My opinion does not count. This is my thought. I just passed by Wendy's. There's always a line of cars in it. It's kind of late, 7.30. There's cars just lined up there though, 7.30. But I was thinking this, you know, like uh, in America, the most common things now, everyone's well, not everyone, but a lot of people. There's no really great paying jobs like the old jobs were. And uh, people are working more hours for less pay. So what's that going to do with people? Are they going to go home and it's like freaking cook dinner? Or, um, you know, whatever. Start frying up shit, barbecuing and shit when they get home like really, really late? Hell no, they're going to get out of that fast food place. And what's that going to do to... Um, people over time that they're just eating that shit 
eating the shit, eating the shit, eating the shit. You know, they're just going to wind up dying from all that fast food garbage. Because, um, oh, car's coming. This never happens. Oops. Oh, come on, fucking Alabama. What the hell are you doing here? But, yeah, they do that stuff. And, I don't know, I, I question. Maybe the newer generation will be worse than the old generation because they're eating a bunch of garbage. I don't know. But they just do it because it's convenient and they're hungry and, you know, the freak is going to start starting all that stuff up when you go home late and you're tired. You're not. 